Hello everyone. In previous class, we discussed about the armature reaction and equivalent circuit of the alternator or per phase equivalent circuit of synchronous generator. In this lecture, we will discuss about armature winding of the alternator, classification of armature winding used in alternator. After this, we will discuss about single phase armature winding, polyphase armature winding and integral slot and fractional slot windings of the alternator. And finally, the reference of this presentation. So in this lecture, we will cover all these topics one by one. So let's start. with topic 1 armature windings of alternator the armature winding in an alternator may be either closed type or open type closed winding forms star connection in armature winding of the alternator there are some common property of the armature winding First and most important property of an armature winding is two sides of any coil should be under two adjacent poles. That means the coil span is equal to pole pitch. The coil span or pole pitch kya hota hai? Abhi hum next slide mein dekhenge. Number next, the winding can either be single layer or double layer. Single layer or double layer winding kya hoti hai? Ye bhi abhi hum next slide mein dekhenge. Winding is so arranged in different armature slots that it must produce sinusoidal EMF. So, these are some common properties of the armature winding used in alternator. The next topic is some important terms related to armature winding. So number one is conductor. What is conductor? A length of wire which takes active part in the energy conversion process is called a conductor. Or simple language mein hum bol sakte hain, aise material jo current ko easily flow karte hain, unko ya flow, current ko easily flow hone dete hain, unko hum conductor bolte hain. For example, copper, aluminium, etc. Number two, turns. One turn consists of two conductor. Number three, coil. One coil may consist of any number of turns. So, a coil can under ek se jada number of turns ho sakte hain. Number four is coil side. One coil which one coil with any number of turns has two coil side. First one is starting side, another is called the ending side. Number next, single layer and double layer windings. 
single layer bindings in a single layer binding one coil side occupies the total slot area so it is called single layer binding it is used only in small ac machines this is the diagram of one coil side per slot slot or teeth kya hote hain iske bare mein humne pehle hi डिस्कस कर लिया है फिर भी मैं आपको एक बार बता देता हूं ये जो प्रोजेक्टेड हिस्सा है इसको हम टीथ बोलते हैं और ये जो खाली वाली हिस्सा है जिसमें हमने वाइंडिंग को फिल किया है दिस इज कॉल्ड द स्लॉट्स। तो स्लॉट में हम वाइंडिंग को फिल करते हैं अगर हम स्लॉट स्लॉट में एक स्लॉट में एक ही क्वाइल साइड फिल कर रहे हैं सो दिस इज नोन एज सिंगल लेयर बाइंडिंग और वन क्वाइल साइड पर स्लॉट बाइंडिंग Next is a double layer binding. So in a double layer binding, slot contain even numbers, maybe two, four, six, etc., of a coil side in two layers. Double layer binding is more common above about five kilowatt machine. So five kilowatt se jada rating ki agar machines hain, to wahan hum double layer binding ko fill karte hain. So this is the two coil side per slot. तो पहले वाले डायग्राम में हम देख सकते हैं एक स्लॉट के अंदर दो क्वाइल साइड फिल्ड है और सेकेंड डायग्राम में हम देख सकते हैं फोर क्वाइल साइड पर स्लॉट तो ये इवन नंबर्स के कॉम्बिनेशन में चलते हैं टू फोर सिक्स तो पहला वाला जो है वो टू क्वाइल साइड पर स्लॉट एक स्लॉट में दो क्वाइल साइड है और इसमें एक स्लॉट में फोर पोल पिच इज डिफाइंड एज द पेरीफेर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन आइडेंटिकल पॉइंट ऑन द टू एट दिन पोल्स Pole pitch is always equal to 180 degree. Next is coil span or coil pitch. The distance between the two coil side of a coil is called coil span or coil pitch. It is usually measured in terms of teeth, slot, or electrical degree. So this is the definition of pole pitch as well as the coil pitch. Number eight, coded coil. If the coil span or coil pitch is equal to the pool pitch, then the coil is termed a full pitch coil. So, हम simple language में बोल सकते हैं जब coil span हमारा बराबर हो जाता है pool pitch के, तो ऐसी binding को हम full pitch coil बोलते हैं. In case of coil pitch is less than to pool pitch, then it is called coded or short pitch or फ्रक्शनल पिच क्वाइल तो ये डेफिनेशन होगी हमारी फुल पिच क्वाइल की और शॉर्ट पिच क्वाइल की इफ देर आर एस स्लॉट्स एंड पी पोल्स दैन द पोल पिच क्यू इज इक्वल टू एस अपॉन पी स्लॉट पर पोल If the coil pitch y is equal to s by p, it result in full pitch bindings. In case coil pitch y less than to s by p, it result in corded or short pitch or fractional pitch binding. So this is the diagram of full pitch coil and short pitch coil. In AC armature binding, the separate coils may be connected in several different manner, but the two most common methods are lap and wave connected.
डायग्राम में आप देख पा रहे हैं जो फुल पिच क्वाइल है उसमें क्वाइल स्पान ज्यादा होता है कंपेयर टू शॉर्ट पिच क्वाइल नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज टाइप ऑफ आर्मेचर बाइंडिंग्स ऑफ द अल्टरनेट There are different type of armature winding used in alternator. The windings can be classified as number one single phase and polyphase armature winding, number two concentrated winding and distributed winding, number three half coil and wool coil winding, number four single layer and double layer winding, number five lap, beam and concentric or spiral winding. and number 6 full pitched coil winding and fractional pitch coil windings so these are the different type of windings used in alternator or synchronous generator in addition to these armature winding of alternator can also integral slot winding and fractional slot winding the next topic is single phase armature winding single phase armature winding can be either concentrated or distributed type so number 1 is concentrated armature winding the concentrated winding is employed where the number of slots or the armature is equal to the number of poles in the machine this armature winding of alternator gives maximum of the voltage but not exactly sinusoidal the most simple single phase winding is so below in figure 1 Here the number of poles is equal to number of slot is equal to number of coil sides here one coil side is inside one slot under one pole and the other coil side inside other slots under next pole the emf induced in one coil side gets added to that of adjacent coil side so this is the diagram of कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड आर्मेचर वाइंडिंग इसको हम कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड क्यों बोलते हैं क्योंकि ये पर्टिकुलर एक स्लॉट पे ही और एक पोल पे ही कॉन्सेंट्रेट होती है सो दिस इज कॉल्ड कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड आर्मेचर वाइंडिंग दिस अरेंजमेंट ऑफ एन आर्मेचर वाइंडिंग इन एन अल्टरनेटर इज नोन एज द स्केलेटन वेव वाइंडिंग as per the figure 1 the coil side 1 under n pole is connected to coil side 2 under s pole at the back and coil side 3 at the front and so on the direction of induced emf of the coil side 1 is upward and the emf induced in a coil side 2 is downward again as coil side 3 is under n pole it will have emf in the upward direction and so on hence total emf in summation of emf of all the coil sides this form of the armature winding is quite simple but rarely used as this require considerable space for end connection of every coil side or conductor we can overcome this problem some extent by using multi turn coil we use the multi turn half coil winding to get higher emf since the coils cover only one half of the armature periphery thus we refer this winding as 
हाफ क्वाइट और हैमी ट्रोपिक पाइन फिगर टू शो दिस If we distribute the all the coils over the whole armature periphery, then the armature winding is referred as whole coil winding. तो ई एम एफ को बढ़ाने के लिए हम क्या करेंगे हाफ 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 क्वाइल एक स्लॉट के अंदर डालेंगे तो उसको हम हाफ क्वाइल वाइंडिंग बोलेंगे और अगर हमें ई एम एफ और चाहिए है तो हम हाफ क्वाइल की जगह गोल क्वाइल का यूज करेंगे जो कि हमने डायग्राम में किया हुआ है फिगर थ्री शो आर डबल लेयर बाइंडिंग Where we place one coil side of each coil on the top of our armature slot and the another side in the bottom of the slot. So double layer winding, we have done what? One side of each coil on the top of the armature slot. One coil side we have kept on the armature top side and the other coil side we have kept on the armature bottom side. It also reduces harmonic EMF, and so waveform is improved. It is also dimensionless armature reaction. Number three, even distribution of conductors help for better cooling. Number four, the core is fully utilized as the conductors are distributed over the slot or the armature periphery. Next is lab binding of alternator. Full pitch lab binding of four pole, twelve slots, twelve conductor. Alternator is so built. So this is the diagram of full pitch lab binding. Here the four pole, twelve slot, and twelve conductor. This is the four pole, pole one, two, three, and four. Four pole. This is the twelve conductor, one, two, twelve, and the twelve slots. चार जो बारह के बारह conductor हैं वो बारह के बारह slot में fill हैं. ये हमने DC machine में भी draw किया था. Lab binding का diagram. The back pitch of the winding is equal to the number of conductors per pole, that is three, and the front pitch is equal to back pitch minus one. ये formula हमने front pitch और back pitch का जब हमने DC मशीन में lab और wave winding का calculation किया था उस time पे हमने निकाला था. The winding is completed per pair. Of the pole and then concentrated in series as shown in Figure Four. Wave winding. 
wave binding of the same machine that is 4 pole 12 slot 12 conductor is so in a figure here the back pitch and the front pitch both equal to some conductor per pole so this is the diagram of wave binding next concentric and spiral winding this winding for the same machine that is 4 pole 12 slot 12 conductor alternator is so in a figure in this winding the coils are of different pitches the outer coil pitch is 5 the middle coil pitch is 3 and the inner coil pitch is 1 so this is the diagram of Concentric or spiral winding. Next is polyphase armature winding of the alternator. Polyphase का मतलब होता है कि हमारे पास जब तीन या तीन से ज़्यादा phase होते हैं, उसको हम polyphase armature winding बोलते हैं. Next is unbalanced winding. If the number of coil per coil group is not a whole number, the winding is known as unbalanced winding. In such case, each pole phase contains unequal of coil of different phases. In two phase alternator, two single phase windings are placed on the armature by 90 degree rectangle apart from each other. In case of 3 phase alternator, 3 single phase windings are placed on the armature by 60 degree electrical apart from each other. The figure below represent a skeleton 2 phase 4 pole winding 2 slot per pole. The electrical phase difference between adjacent slot is equal to 180 degree by 2. So we get 90 degree electrical. Point A and B are starting point of the first and second phase winding of two phase alternator. A dash and B dash are finishing point of first and second phase winding of the two phase alternator respectively. The figure represent A is skeleton. 3 phase 4 pole winding, 3 slot per pole. The electrical phase difference between adjacent slot is 180 by 3 is equal to 60 degree. A, B and C are the starting point of red, yellow and blue phases. In short, R by B phases and A dash, B dash, and C dash are the finishing point of the same R by B phases of the three phase binding. Say red phase binding start at slot number 1 and end over the slot number 10. Then yellow winding or second winding start at slot number 2 and the end over slot number 11. Third or blue phase winding start at slot number 3 and ends at slot number 12. 
the phase difference of induced EMF in red phase and yellow phase, yellow phase and blue phase, and blue phase and red phase winding respectively by 60 degree electrical. Three phase system, the phase difference between RYV is 120 degree electrical. This can be achieved by reversing yellow phase winding. The next topic is integral slot and fractional slot bindings. Number one is integral slot winding. When the number of slots per pole per phase is an integer, the winding is known as integral slot winding. The value of slot per pole per phase decide the class of the winding. If m is equal to slot per pole per phase, the key point is that when the value of m is an integer, then the winding is called integral slot winding. Consider two pole. 12 slot alternator, hence n is equal to slots per pole is equal to 12 by 2 is equal to 6, pole pitch is equal to 180 degree is equal to 6 slot, so m is equal to n by 3. The value of n is equal to 6, so is equal to 6 by 3 is equal to 2. Thus, the end of the first coil is connected to the start of the next coil lying to the right of the first coil. The alternate coil group must be reversely connected such that EMF is induced in them is additive in nature. Any slot contain the coil sides which belong to the same phase. Such a winding is so in a figure. This is the diagram of double layer integral slot winding. If the sort pitch coils are used for integral slot windings, then in each group of the slot per pole per phase, the coil side of different phase exists. Next is fractional slot windings. When the number of slot per pole per phase is fractional number, the winding we refer as fractional slot winding. This is the another type of winding which depend on the value of M. The key point is that the winding in which slot per pole per phase M is a fractional number is called fractional slot winding. In such a winding, the number of slot S must be divided by 3. Thus, slot per phase is an integer which is necessary to obtain symmetrical three phase winding. But slot per pole M and the slot per pole per phase M both are fractional. As n is a fraction, 
The coil cannot be full bridge. Thus, if there are 54 slots and 8 poles, then the slot per pole n is equal to 54 by 8 is equal to 6.75. Hence, the coil span can be 7 or 6. Generally, short pitch coils are used. Such a fractional slot binding can be easily achieved with double layer binding. Next is a references. So, these are the references. And thank you for watching this video.